Pampers are the top Mother's Day gift, according to the National Retail Federation. But when you order online, sometimes you're getting flowers that are shipped to your mom rather than delivered via a local florist. And of course, what you see online isn't necessarily what you get in person. If you're ordering something from a local florist, well, then that really just depends on how good your local florist is. So we ordered from five of the top mail order sites just to see if what we got was anywhere near what we ordered. So let's see what they have sent us. Smaller than I thought it would be though. Looks like a kind of pretty small bouquet, right? Let's see what it looks like underneath the um, plastic and paper. It's definitely <laughs> secure for sure. Um, you need yeah. to get some foliage from the garden to, to round that. that out. I don't even know how that would, how, I mean, you could cut the stems, but I don't know how that's gonna look good in a vase and it's certainly not like this is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, Does that look like well, what that looks like to you? No. I mean even if they were in full bloom. Yeah, just, there's there's no way. To that. They do warn you on this one that pr that these are going to arrive closed. So it's not going to be I prefer that. So mom's not necessarily getting see already like very very green bouquet. That's much smarter. This for somebody would probably work pretty nicely if you were ordering it and you got it kind of early next week so that that way by the time Mother's Day rolls around that all of this is open. Already, I mean, I can smell it's pretty pretty this fragrant. I'm not quite nice. sure. I guess it's partially like the lilies. I think there's like some eucalyptus in here too, it smells like. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what this looks like in a couple of days, days maybe. To come. This is another $50 bouquet. $50. $50, uh, and it's supposed to have in it some pink and yellow tulips, some iris, and some Asiatic lilies, and a mm -hmm. few other extras. Vase as well. Let's get that. It's not what very exciting with the greenery. I mean, that the second was far more exciting with the pieces of. But this filler. is another one where I think you know it's it it's got some potential down the line that you get some nice color at least starting off here and you can tell like these two are about to open these look like they're not very far along at all but if you took good care of it they probably would open generous enough bunch but it's not very exciting and this is supposed to be a vibrant mix of sunflowers roses alstroemeria and more a vibrant mix and more it's a big promise <laughs> well it's a nice it's pretty vibrant. It's the yeah. most, least, most colorful one we've opened yet, for sure. Wow. But yeah, there's a, it's a pretty good scent to it. Certainly, it's the most colorful arrangement that we've that we've gotten so far. Uh, looks like a few things here in need of a little water to perk up. But All right, this poor uh, sunflower. It's I think he's. Little... I think he's a little crushed by the box. Right. Maybe he'll he'll be okay. This is supposed to be a bouquet of bright colored roses. Ooh, and that one actually, look at that, came with water in the, wow. on the end. It's like, kind of like a nice little water balloon That's extra great. gift. That shows that they care. It's also got these nice little pr flower protectors, too. That's what the other one should have had for the sunflowers. So you just pull them off yes. like this. Yep, I yep. love that they did that. So it's definitely, I mean, it, they said it's a bright bouquet, and I, I would definitely say that's truth in advertising. The only critique I would have about this guy, it's, it reminds me a little bit of a supermarket bouquet. Not, like, because there's so many of these, kind of, I don't know, I, I would call them like, yeah, like filler flowers, where, you know, I mean, like the green, the green guys, whatever they are, pretty interesting. You got some nice roses in here, but it's largely carnations and yeah, they're daisies. Not, they're not so, the most expensive. So if you want a bouquet that tells mom how much you really love her, the important advice here is to be choosy. Shop around to see what you're gonna get for your money, make sure that you take those pictures with a grain of salt, and maybe talk to your local florist to see what they might be able to do for the same amount as you might pay online. For Wall Street Journal Digital Network, I'm Kelly Grant.